Hundreds of thousands of people drive millions of miles on Mid-South roads every week, most of us in cars powered by gasoline. When we fill up, we almost always look at that price on the pump, but probably don't give a lot of thought to where the gas comes from. Tonight on Behind Closed Doors, I'm going to take you inside the place where our gas is made, a place no TV news crew has ever been allowed until now. Thousands of drivers fly by the Valero refinery every day on their way to work, to fun, to family, to deliver the goods. The Mid-South is constantly in motion. But eventually, most of those trips involve a gas pump. Where does your gas come from? Africa, Iran or something. I have no idea. Texas. I just pump it and I'm on my way. Exxon, BP, Shell, mystery brand, doesn't matter. Almost all of it comes from the same place here at the Valero Refinery south of downtown Memphis. We produce 3 million gallons of gasoline a day. A day? A day. 2 million gallons of diesel and a million gallons of jet fuel. Mark Scoble is the man in charge, general manager of Valero Memphis. It's a liquid assembly line. And it's a big one. The refinery is an astonishing maze of pipes, tubes, tanks, pumps, boilers, and towers spread across 250 acres. Crude oil comes in by barge and pipeline. Then it gets cooked until it boils. As it vaporizes, it rises in the columns that you see here. And the lighter material goes up to the top, and you see the pipes coming off the side is where we draw off the different products. So one of these pipes might be drawing off gasoline. That's another correct. Another pulling off kerosene. That's correct. Almost all the fuel used in the Mid-South is made here. There's even a direct pipeline sending jet fuel to Memphis International Airport. Gasoline and diesel is carried off in almost 300 trucks a day, loading up at Valero's truck rack, the largest in the United States. Well, we uh, employ 500 people here, 300 Valero people, and 200 contractors. Uh, we have an uh, annual payroll of $45 million, so it's a big piece of the economy here. I'm making gasoline and diesel. Will Monroe Smith Jr. is a plant operator, part of the team that works in this blast-proof control room, keeping the liquid assembly line moving. The uh, challenge, I guess, is um, keeping it safe, keeping it safe and keeping the man safe. Will has worked at the refinery 39 years and remembers an early career day at his daughter's school. The kids asked her what her daddy did. She said, oh, make gasoline, and they said, no, he pumped gasoline. <laughs> yeah, but there's a big difference between pumping gasoline yeah. and running the show. Yeah, yeah. There is, yes, there is. General Manager Mark Scoble tells me there is not really a school that teaches refinery operation. So every couple of years, Bolero hires a few people, locally for the most part, and starts teaching them how to run the place. In the meantime, if there is some place you'd like to see behind closed doors, send an email to me at doors at localmemphis.com or a message on Facebook at Local Memphis, and I'll try to open some of them for you.